Please wait while I verify your identity. Identity confirmed. Please proceed. Hello, and welcome to the Counter-Terrorist Special Training Facility. Please proceed to the elevator. They are waiting for you in the training areas. Involve this game. This is a uh, single player mode for Counter Strike Condition Zero. So, if you guys see me play Black Death before, this is uh, got some sick sound of it made up from um, the training course is just ahead. Half a venture. Greetings, operative. The first moves you will practice are related to basic movement. Press your duck key to navigate under these obstacles. Good. You will now need to jump up this on these training. boxes to proceed. To enter this vent, you will need to perform a duck jump. Stand directly in front of the vent and continue to press forward. Then jump, and while you're in the air, press your duck key. Good job. This doesn't make me move any faster. To descend on this ladder, simply walk directly into the ladder. Look down and That's continue weird, because moving I forward. Can't maintain that move. Climb up these pipes by walking directly I, I into like them while pipes. continuing to jump into this tank of water and swim through the pipe below. To swim, simply look in the direction you want to swim and press forward. Watch your air supply closely while swimming. If you need to service for air, an oxygen icon will light up on your display. While walking up to the corridor, looking at it, and press to proceed, you'll need to push that box through the corridor. Pushing is easy. Move forward against the box to push it out of your way. To pull this box, move up to it, and press your use key. Yeah, the use key this is all the subject from that desk. Move slowly backward. The object will come along with you. Other strike one. While gripping an object, you can also use strafe keys to move the object from side oh, to side. Box are heavy, so it. To open this door, walk up to the control wheel, then press and hold the use key. Some doors will require you to press use to open them, especially in areas where stealth is important. Walk up to this door and press your use key to open the door. To close the door, simply walk up to the door and press the use key again. Hostage rescue zones can be identified by areas where the hostage rescue icon is oh, visible. Yeah. To lead the rescue. hostages to the rescue zone, you must approach a hostage and press the use key. They will follow hey, you hostage. until they reach a rescue Let's zone go. or until Let's you face the them and press the use key again. Yes, yeah, so I'll just get request a hostage rescue. Thanks. I'm glad it's over. This civilian to the security panel near the door. He will bypass the yes, security. Yes, I'll do what you say. Welcome to the live fire range. Here, you will receive training in firing weapons, reloading, mode switching, accuracy, and finally, explosives. Pick up your weapons and proceed to the firing station. If you run out of ammo, step to the ammo window for additional magazines. Also, try to reload. Okay, squeeze off a few rounds to get a feel for your weapon. Notice that when you fire, your crosshair expands with each shot. The size of the crosshair represents the accuracy of your weapon. The wider the crosshair, the less accurate your shots will be. To be effective in the field, use short controlled bursts to ensure accurate targeting. Engage three crosshair targets to continue. Fire key. Engage all the targets to continue. Oh, 
I can put it on silencer as much as I want. Good job! Time to change weapons. Pick up your next weapon and proceed to the firing station. All sniper rifles can zoom in on a target using the secondary fire key. Engage all the targets to continue. Explosive grenade. Toss the grenade at the target to continue. Finally, pick up the flash bang and smoke grenade. Flash bangs temporarily blind enemies, but if you look at it when it explodes, you'll be blinded as well. Turning away from flashbangs when they're about to explode will limit the blinding effect. Smoke grenades also temporarily affect your enemy's ability to accurately attack. Very useful in crowded firefight situations. Your offensive weapons training is complete. Please advance to the next area. Get law armor is essential to your survival in the field. Pick up your armor and proceed to the hazards area. If you pass through fire or steam, you will see a heat damage icon light up. Directional indicators at the center of your display show you where damage is coming from. Just a bunch of soldiers. Bye. Use your fiber optic camera to sneak past the guard in the next area. If you're spotted, don't worry, you'll be able to try again. Take notice of the stealth icon while you're in dark areas in this room. Anytime you're in a stealth zone, enemies cannot see you and will not attack or alert others. I 
terrorist. I have my fiber optic camera over here. There's only that one guy there. Position. To defuse the bomb, walk up to it, face the device, then press and hold your use key. Okay, uh, let's see, that's an old trending use. Excellent. The device has been defused. Congratulations. You've completed the counter-terrorist special training course. Please return topside for processing. Okay. I think I'll leave here now. Bye-bye. Uh,